Hello, my name is Alexandra Mitzi and in this video I will present some basic features of Sophistic Interface for Rhino. The Sophistic Rhinoceros interface offers the possibility to define and generate a finite element model from a Rhino geometrical model. The user can use the Sophistic Structural program for the structural analysis of this generated finite element model. Being now at the Rhino environment, we can view here the Sophistic Toolbox. Underneath, there are several Rhino tabbed panels, such as the Properties, the Layer panel, and next to the Help panel stands the Sophistic tabbed panel, which we can move simply by dragging it into the screen. This can be something very useful for someone who uses two screens, for example. In the Sophistic panel, the user can give structural information into geometric Rhino objects like points, curves and surfaces. We now go to the top viewport and I will draw a simple 2D geometrical shape. I go to the surface tools and I select the surface from three or four corner points and I simply draw a four corner surface. In order to generate a finite element model from this planar shape I need to give some structural properties on it such as the material and the thickness. So I select the surface and I go to the Sophistic panel and I define it as a structural surface. In the general part we can define several properties such as the group of this surface which can be either a number or defined by layer the thickness of the surface and the material of it I will set the thickness to 20 cm then I will select the concrete material and the reinforcement which I have already defined in the Sophistic Structural Desktop Sophistic offers several different meshing options like automatic or regular mesh. In the supports part the user can give the support condition of the system. I will now export this two-dimensional system by clicking the export button in the Sophistic toolbox. Now the export dialog appears. Here the user can change several meshing parameters such as the mesh density, the progression factor, or he can simply start the numbering of structural elements by a specific first element number. There is no need to change the default settings, so I simply press OK. We can view now the finite element model in the animator. Rhino is a powerful 3D modeling software and is used mostly because it makes possible the design of models with complex geometry. Sophistic can handle any 3D Rhino shape, transforming it to a 3D finite element model. This full integration of Rhino into Sophistic constitutes a robust tool for the engineers dealing with difficult geometrical shapes. I will modify now my planar shape in order to get a 3D geometrical shape. I go to the standard menu and I simply check the points on and then I will drag two of them a bit higher in order to get a 3D shape. We export again the modified model and we see at the animator the 3D finite element model. back to Rhino where now I will draw a line in order to show another feature so I go to the curve tools and I select the line I select the line and then at the Sophistic panel I define it as a structural curve and now for this curve we can give several structural parameters such as the group, 
some meshing parameters, the support condition of this line, and also the cross-section properties. So at the element type, I will define it as a centric beam, and then I select the cross-section, which I already have defined in the SSD, like the materials I used previously for the surface. I go to the export button, and in the animator we can see the exported finite element model. Usually the visualization of the model and the cross-section is being done in the animator as can be seen here. But Sophistic Rhino interface offers the possibility to visualize it also in Rhino. So we go back to Rhino, we change the viewport to the perspective view and save it. And now if I click the Show Sections Allow Curves button, we can view the shape of the cross section. If we right click this button, I disable the visualization. Another really nice feature of the Sophistic interface is that we can visualize the Sophistic model mesh by clicking this button. Here I would like to thank you for your attention.